the night before the surgery. And I just remember asking Abigail just to hold on one more day because help is coming. Dr. D'Onofrio and Dr. Brewer and the entire team, it made a difference between life and death for, for Abigail. A hundred things had to go right for Abigail to be here, and they were part of that hundred things. The scope of cardiac care here at Children's National is a wide gamut from fetal life and before birth detection with our prenatal peds institute to newborn care, pediatric care, all the way up through adulthood. Research always drives healthcare and medicine forward. We've made a lot of great strides in the past 80 years, but we need to continue to answer some of these questions. We're launching the Children's National Heart Research Institute to find new and innovative ways to help children's heart health. Abby's mom and dad are incredibly special people. They came to us after they had lost their second child to this problem in which a mom has antibodies that attack the fetal heart. We had been monitoring her heart rate regularly every day as part of this study that we were participating in and started to notice an irregularity in her heartbeat. She had developed complete heart block. And at that point, we weren't really sure how to react. So we'd gotten bad news like that before and it ended in the death of our son. And so we were expecting the worst from that. The clinical trial that we are a part of is called Stop Block. We gave Abby's mom life-saving medication that passed through to the fetus and was able to minimize the damage to the heart. Being part of the study made us feel that we were getting the best care possible and we were at the forefront of medical research. We were just about to deliver Abby. Dr. D'Onofrio arranged for us to meet with Dr. Barul and go over the device. We knew that she was going to need a pacemaker in the first few days of life, and she was very small. We've been testing a miniature pacemaker that is designed for newborn babies and is available on emergency use authorization only. She's one of the first few patients to have received that device. She was born at week 32, about less than 20 hours after she was admitted to the CICU, she was implanted with the Banthan pacemaker that would save her life. Well, Heart Research Institute is so important right now because we now need to push the envelope and do research so we can then translate that to our patients. Some of the challenges of doing research for small populations is that there's not a lot of incentive for other companies to support these kind of projects, and there's an unmet need. So it's up to us to develop those products. Investments in fetal and pediatric research is really essential to what we do. Support from our amazing donors really helps us move the field forward. Funding will be the lifeblood of our institute, driving its innovation and progress. This funding will support cutting-edge research and develop new technology and treatments that will help us change lives, and it will expand access to care, ensuring that more patients will benefit from these advancements that we find. Abby, she loves to move, she rolls, she sits up. You would never expect that she has any issues with the heart at all. And she is just a happy baby. Together, we can bring the best minds and resources so we can tackle the toughest challenges in congenital heart disease. Supporting heart research saves lives. And I think it saves families. It gave us hope. Every time that they check her heartbeat, and we look at the rhythm and we hear the beat and it's normal is just beautiful to me. Every time I hear it, it doesn't get old. Losing our son changed the entire world. Having Abby healed parts of us that we didn't know could be healed again.